Hey, good day. Mike Mata here. We're going to show you how to set up your Wireshark so that you can actually decrypt SSL traffic from using Google or Chrome or Firefox. So the first step is go into your Windows Advanced Settings, System Settings. We're going to set an environment variable create a new one and I created one here called SSL keylog file so again you just create new type in SSL keylog file and you want to point it to where you want this file and I have mine configured into my default uh, if you want to browse your directory wherever you want to put it this PC I put mine in my users uh, Mike Mata directory there so that's where I have mine again wherever you want to put it and then I name it SSL key log file dot log that's what I named mine you can name it whatever you want to name it this is where your Google Chrome or Firefox will keep all those session keys for you as you use the browser. Now I'm going to cancel that since I already have mine. You can see mine right here. SSL key log file and again where it is in the key file name. So then all you need to do after that is just click OK at the bottom and you now have that file and we can go validate that. Just click OK here. We'll go open up our Windows Explorer let's just go make sure that file is there it should be I trust Windows don't you users Mike Mata and there it is SSL keylog file that's what we want to make sure that file is there next we open Wireshark and we got to tell it then to point also to that file so we click on edit go to preferences go down to protocols go find SSL SSL and you want to point that pre-master secret log file again make sure you point to that same file that you just created again I click browse and there it is click OK and there's our log file that we're going to use so now as we again go to a browser let me make my Wireshark smaller so that it fits here Oh, that's a little too small. Let's make it a little bigger. Alright, and then what we are going to do is we will then go to um, an SSL website. So let's close that. Let's actually go to capture, start, continue without saving. Here we go. Should start seeing some packets. Now let's open up Chrome. We'll go to my website, which www.mnex.biz should go to HTTPS. Okay, and then we can actually see there's the data. We got the screen. Let's click on something to make sure. Uh, <clears throat> sure, let's go to Observer. All right, so we know we're live, not Memorex. Next, we're going to click on Wireshark. And we're still capturing, so I'm going to go ahead and stop capture. And I know the address of my web server is that. Let's apply a filter. All right, in our first step here, you notice we have a client hello, so we connect, sync, sync, act, we get a client hello. All we need to do is right click on the client hello, follow TCP stream, but instead of typically we do TCP stream, in this case we're going to do SSL stream, and there we go. It's decrypting that SSL into HTTP that we can actually see you can follow along it's right there in plain English 200 okay get a response so 
it's nice and decrypted for us. Again, if we go look at that SSL file, you'll see it's got a bunch of keys in it. Whoops, not there, there. Public, no. Like, there's our SSL keylog file. And there's our client random keys that it has generated. And that's what it's actually using to decrypt that information. So, there you go. That's all you need to do to set up your uh, Wireshark and the keylog file so that it can decrypt your SSL traffic. Thanks for listening. Make it a great day.